All right. So on the last episode of Progression Series Season 2, um, we uh, we watched Man, uh, my too. goat, yeah, Gate, yeah. Gage, uh, uh, Poljock, tie up the series with BA. Oh and I'm sure right now Alex is going to be the worst person in the history of time and ban Dante after one episode. And if he does this, we're all going to, what are we all going to post in chat if he bans Dante? You know, I want to be mad that I'm in the banning, but honestly, I kind of did it to myself. If I didn't yeah, play you did like it to shit, yourself. I probably wouldn't be here, or at least there'd be the chance If he bans Dante, I'm just going to come. some game threes over the last few episodes. So, uh, that's embarrassing, but in any case, we have to ban a card. I actually think this is probably going to be a crazy take. I'm going to ban Gage's copy of Dante. The ah! is because this upcoming set, High Speed Riders, actually has when he a said, When he said, I thought this support. was a crazy take, take. I was like, Gage oh, no. I just can't conceivably play whatsoever, where a lot of the other decks, Gage and I can both play them. So I feel like if I just ban one of his best options, Fuck best you, in quotes, dude. then Holy at least, you know, shit. it just puts us on more even footing. So let's get Dante out of here. And I'm going to put you on even footing Gage. on the ground. I'm happy we've been slowly regaining our lead on out. Okay. Dante out of here. I want to reveal something to you all while we're in here having been in this very room look down at alex's uh right hand like elbow there is a very small dragon down there that's a real dragon like it is animate here and let's throw it on over to gauge i'm happy we've he been is keeping a drag a real dragon alex chained up in his basement above us but the age of gauge is soon to return, I promise. It's felt really good to get these last few wins. I feel like my play has been on point, and also we've just been bringing better decks. I appreciate yeah, we Alex have. bringing in the goo every now and again, but the goo does not always get you the games. I'm looking to maintain <laughs> this lead and hopefully- That's what I'm saying. The next few episodes. A good wheel spin could definitely help that out. I haven't gotten extremely lucky in the last few ones, like band tickets, uh, redoer tickets here and there. I think the last thing we opened was a Dragons of Legend. Any card from it. Wow, I cannot believe it. What can I get this time? Let's give it a couple clicks. Let's see what we get. I didn't realize that's pretty loud there. I'll turn that down for you guys. What am I getting though? That's huge. That is amazing. That that is so good. <laughs> a wild card promo. I feel like this hasn't been spun in forever. Like perhaps like five ever. I've needed a wild card promo for a while. I think a lot of the really, really crazy decks that we were cooking specifically that with something wrong. that we could get from promotional material uh, might have eclipsed us, but maybe there's something crazy we can play today. So one thing we just ended up opening just last episode, which makes this choice like infinitely easier, is there's a clearly broken card that none of us had access to. That card was a promotional super rare in the 2015 Mega Tins. That was the only place you could get it, and I think it was the only place you could get it until it was banned. That card is none other than Elder. We Entity were just talking Nordic. about this Nordic woman. A ridiculous level four fusion monster. Oh, a oh no, it's Nord. Oh, holy XYZ shit! Or one of each now I'm not so beat up about Dante. This is like the worst possible. Holy fuck! Banish it when it leaves the field. Very simple effect. Important that you will never actually be properly fusioning summoning this card. You are always 100% of the time summoning it off of instant fusion. Instant fusion. Uh, that's gives just us a like free literally not true, right? There was a deck that made it. Or doesn't negate the effect. So when this card special summon, you how many summon instant fusions does this man have? Card. Three. That's a free rank four off of instant fusion. I think that's pretty broken. It is pretty broken. That's why this card's banned and it's never been reprinted. And I'm going to add it to my collection. We really only Alex, ever had one print. That's this crazy. Guy's pretty crazy. On to the big stuff today. We have to open high Chat, do you see what I see? The ads are back. Speed Riders. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Should have put Dweller in defense mode. Look at him. He's just whine, 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 whine. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, honestly, I'm just happy that we're never going to see that deck ever again. Because with Dante out of the mix, I don't think Gage can actually conceivably play that deck. So here <laughs> we are. High Speed ticket. Riders. Today's set. This, is so annoying. this set is actually cracked. I know typically side sets are like kind of hit or miss. But this one is insane. One of the High reasons Speed I actually wanted to ban Dante is, is, is because Teratop and Takatom Borger in here. Which are just insane rank 3. Even Speed Recovery. 
recovery is really cards, good. Which could have, like, like, I would love to see them try Speed Roid. I don't think it's, like, better, worth doing right now. I just want right to make sure but... that his best rank 3 deck is just off the table entirely. But, I mean, look at these supers. Moonlight Dragon, Zeta's Hot insane. Red Dragon, Archfiend, Start a Spark Dragon. We even have some insane. opportunities to get Spark some reprints insane. that we missed before. Tear Top, Taka Tombo, Red Eyed Dice on down to the rares. Nothing too crazy here. At Rare, Duality, Circuit, Overload, Delta, Driver. Like, if you pull a full Psyframe Core, which is pretty likely, you just win. Gamma at Ultra is a little scary. Abyss, emergency teleport reprint, and then the Goyo Chaser chat. I didn't know they put you in the <laughs> secret rares. Are is just where it gets out of hand. Chunbara is a great. OTK Can we get a hashtag Omega's Chasers insane, for Luke Trish Von Karma insane. going? Hell, even like Red Wyvern and Bane are great too. The problem is they're just like one of the harder ones to actually access. But for oh, the most part, there's a lot of insane stuff in the set. Is there even anything good in the commons? Uh, another chance at Silent Psychic Wizard, I guess, is okay. Menko is like randomly a decent card. I know we have like a lot of these other cards. Serene like Red Psychic, Dragon, which Archfiend, is good. I, I mean, all the psychic stuff is generally quite here. good. Vice Dragon friends, is like pretty Alpha, good. Epsilon, Krebons, I'm pretty sure we probably have play sets of. Red Alpha Resonator, and Epsilon are fine. Before, and uh, even Joseph's dice. in the set. As I said, though, as what far the fuck did he just go, say? Resonator, if we didn't get it before. And uh, even Joseph's in the set. What the fuck? As I said, though, as far as side sets go, we really mad, couldn't ask for much. Mad, a bunch mad, of new mad. cards that are insane. A lot of reprints <laughs> that we missed that. out before He's that can white. just definitely turn the tables and maybe enable that some new strategies. Wrong. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I'm not excited about opening Astral Pack 7 for the 500th time. Ugh. I think next episode we move on to Astral Unrecoverable. Pack 8. So at least True. whoever loses, we're going to be seeing some new cards out of the pity pack. So let's flip up the first pack and see. Nothing we're going to be using here. Second pack, anything good? Oh, we have not had Gaia drag it up until this point. So you know what? I will take not it. Bad. A new card we'll is a it. new card. And the third, the last pack, or rather the third pack, is a Skarm that will never see the light of day. Let's just add it to the collection, and let's crack some high-speed riders. I'm excited. High-speed riders? I think the speed roids are up in this pack here. Yes, Those cards they are. are pretty yes, short. they are. It'd be nice if we still had Dante to be able to use it for a rank three strategy. Unfortunate. What do we got? Ooh, card card D, my favorite. Favorite rock stun card. card Side frame dick. Delta. This is a banger to see in the pack. Delta nowadays. is a banger. Maybe back then it didn't have too much of a purpose. It was still just a good card, but really, really hard and needs a specific meta to play. And nowadays, as you can see, twelve dollars. Where'd the ads high go? Demand. Speed Roid Manko. That's a uh, Master Saga reference right there. Oh, oh. All right, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Goyo Predator, first Ultra Rare coming around. Unfortunately, all the Goyos... Goyo Predator? I didn't know they put Farfus chat in here. <laughs> ...support cards? They suck. Uh, they're not quite Goyo Guardian. And I think at this point, Goyo Guardian is errata to require an Earth Tuner. What a damn shame. Why does it still do that? They should unerata Goyo. Synchron Resonator's pretty good from what I remember, too. That's not a bad pack. Okay, Taka Tomborg is a fantastic Super Rare to pull. We just need the Tear Tops to pair with it. Uh, another card, Cardi, and the Synchro Cracker. Let's go. Oh, Stardust Spark Dragon is a really Farfus solid... card would like, be Poyo Guardian. I remember this was dumb. a manga promo, I think, Very before. dumb. Um, Very stupid. Not, like, not good. It's not, like, the best... We have better cards. I'm going to be honest. We have better not cards. Not good, folks. Stop not good. It. Oh, that's a good one, though. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. A little bit of retrain of the RDA here. This fella, during our main phase one, can destroy all other face-up attack position monsters on the field. And other than this guy, he can only attack. We even got uh, a driver. That's pretty strong, right? Just destroys... Lightning Vortex, essentially, right? That's solid in a level 8. Not bad for us. Uh, and a driver? We needed one of those, I suppose, right? Ooh, we need a number of gamma, those. Gamma, bro. <laughs> That's the best card you could get from Gamma Circuit. We should play Cyframe. one in today's TCG format, this was one of the best hand traps brick in the game during its period. This card being able to stop all hand traps, Ash Blossoms on very important Rota targets, or like E-Teleport and stuff like that. Uh, absolute menace to deal with if you can pull it off turn one. Even if you can pull it off turn two when you have an empty board, a negate and destroy is just as good. Happy to have one in the collection. I think pulling three is a little bit of a stretch at the moment, that not until we get wrong. to King Chaos, but... Good to have, right? All right, 24 packs of high-speed riders coming right up. A lot of crazy stuff that we could get out of here. Honestly, I don't even know what I would, like, what the best-case scenario would be. So we're just going to flip Tim, it up and see. Sub. Starting off with driver, so if we do get any gammas, at least we've got that unlocked. But everything else is uh, kind of meh.
This pack's a little bit better. Silent Psychic, Wizard, Speedroid, Medco, and Speed Recovery, if we get, like, enough decent support cards to use with it, is totally fine. tri -Eye Dice is useful to have. We only need one of it, and it's a common, but at least it's in here. Oh, shit! And there is Emergency nice. Teleport. Now, this is good for several reasons, because although you might think e is past its prime, there are some decks that we actually could take advantage of if we pull more copies of this, and that'll definitely be on my radar for sure. Man, unfortunately, we hit a secret rare, and it's probably Bane. the least playable of the bunch. Bane is a decent card, but again, it's just so hard to summon. I don't know if we're going to be able to do much with that. I really wish that that was one of the other three good secrets. Another Takatom Borg. Literally nothing else in that pack, but Tri-Eyed Dice. Oh, another Ultra. Goyo Chaser. I, I just talked about the Goyos not being that crazy. This one fucking sucks, too. <laughs> I literally don't have to say more about it. Okay. Another, Why does he uh, have, hot like... Red Dragon Arch Oh, uh, you know what? I'm actually not going to say anything. Nothing else to talk about in that one. Ooh. Secret Rare. Red Wyvern. Card's real good. I player's turn if a card with higher attack than the Synchro Summon card is on the field. Destroy the one face of monster with the highest attack. Your choice of Tide. That's, like, not terrible for a level 6 generic, right? No, it's it, real good. Could be worse. Ooh, there we go. That's our first Terror Top that we ended up pulling. We do need to get, like, three Terror Top, and we could have a really fierce Speedroid deck. Like, we already have the Talking Tom Borgs. Three of this guy, almost mandatory. Another Red Wyvern? Are you kidding me? Bane yeah. is an okay Ultra. I really wish it was Gamma, just because Gamma is insane. But, you know, we'll you, you can't get everything, I guess. But we can get Hot Red Dragon Ooh, Archfiend Abyss, which is big. pretty strong. Again, uh, situational to summon, but it's, like, a decent payoff if we can actually get to it. So, uh, happy to have it. Just really depends if we can do much with it. Oh! <sighs> Is that a second Holy emergency teleport? E I, see. I forget if I already have one in my pool or not. And I also have to... No, it should be at three because this is when Cosmo was legal. And I remember e was it's at three, three because of the fact that Farm Girl was psychic and you could summon her. So... Okay, we might be able to do something with E-Telly. I'm down. Simo will Man, play Teledad. Copy of Beta. If these were Gammas, we'd have two Gammas right now. Beta's oh, we good would too. Set. Come on. Ooh, a second Delta is actually super cute. Two of the spell negates. I mean, Psy Frames are always a very annoying pure deck to build, but literally the They're engine so can good. fit in anything. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's pretty good. Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. Integral for a lot of uh, Guard Dragon combos later on in the game. This guy's difficult to summon on his own, right? A tuner and a non-tuner Dark Dragon Synchro It's monster. not that hard, actually. Very it's, you just need one tuner off, and uh, RDA, huge. right? Beta. All right, another L trimmer. Right. We got the There's beta. beta. Sick. All right, down to the last four. Anything big Dice in the close roll here? Battle. We got one Another talk driver. Tom Start a spark. I'd love to have a couple big. more of those. Hmm. Doesn't seem... Oh! Terror top. You, I, I said talking top board. I meant terror top. I meant the That's top. That's two this terror top. I, I think, think we have, have to be happy with that. Already. This is my we got, second we got two top. more. Let's open one a more third terror top. One more packs would be a dream come true. Yo. Wow. Emergency teleport is a great reprint. I think and we might circuit. already have three of this. I think it got reprinted in a gold series. Last pack. Nothing in the close. I think I got like three of these. Unironically. We still keep this. This is This could definitely be worse. All right, taking a gander through it, this seems like a pretty much a high roll. I would love to walk yeah. out of this pack with a Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, but can't it's okay. Get what we you don't want. need it. I still think this is pretty solid. Two Terror Top. Two Terror Top is so good. That feels like really strong. Three Talking Tom. Uh, and, like, the Stardust the, the Spark we got out of here with. I feel like it's too good to. Yeah, not we don't reroll this. In. This is crazy. Let's add it to the collection. Pretty good. Black Rose Moonlight Dragon's a good hit as well. Being Wonderful able to pickup. Stuff wow, they both pulled effect. so well. I'm not sure Blue Eyes is going to be playable when we get to Shining Okay, well, don't talk. Isn't too far you can off just summon now, it as a set. In any case, that's a nice target off of Spirit Dragon, but it's just a decent generic card all around. There's definitely worse cards. And speaking of generically good cards, there's, there's this Hard good Dragon old Hot Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend, which is just a really strong card in its, it's own right RDA, for a generic better. 8. So happy to it's see not it. Necessarily that's crazy. Better, Two it's Hot good. Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. I don't okay, think we, we need, need that. that. I really wish those were gammas, I'm not going to lie. But we've got three card. packs left. Let's just go ahead and send it to see what we get in the last ones here. That's speed like our 900th really copy card. of Speed Recovery. Second to last pack, nothing great. We just got a Mirror Resonator. And for our last pack, there's a Takatom board. That's good too. Did I not pull a single Terror Top? Holy shit, I did not pull a single Terror well, Top. A super, That's so it's actually not really guaranteed. insane that I didn't pull Terror Top. It, it's like not the end of the world because my rank three pool isn't particularly good anyway. I know Gage has like yeah, Zen mains, but... We pulled That's two e so we, irritating. Uh, we, 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 um, I'm going to have to think about this. That what? was wrong. Yeah, after looking it over, dog. it's rough, right? Like, I could two e tellies dog. or something else. Like, I didn't get a Stardust Spark. I didn't get a Trish or Omega or oh, I didn't know know, that a Gamma. Didn't get I did miss spark. out on a few things, but I kind of like having um, three e Telly. I feel like just having that all right, he's winning me over. is actually I could pretty see him strong, all things considered. So... I don't know. I feel like this is a tough... I'm just going to keep it. It's fine. Okay. It is what it is. Could have gone either way. Building. 
We're bringing back something familiar again, but the inclusion of the extra deck just made this way too delightful uh, okay. to pass up today. We're back on our clown deck, our rank four sort of turbo, but with the inclusion uh, of uh, yeah, Eldred's I mean there was just no way we were ever not going to play this. Fusion still at three. This deck Northern is truly Gray. on a different level. We were using Instant Fusion as an additional uh, level four in the form of like Camion Wizard or like removal in the form of Thousand Ashes. Shoo, 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 shoo. I don't think we've seen Star Drawing a one card yet. combo in itself. Uh, went back as to play one Elder. The inclusion really cannot another two hundred. A great card twenty two over. I have a card like we don't do that. Chain before Soldier comes dumb simple in the form of the wall. I'm going to bring. bring this oh. is a strange situation to. Wait. I was skipping through gauges until I could see what Alex's is, but it's the same deck. He catches a ban. So with my back against the wall, I feel like this is a strange situation to be in. I feel like Gage is going to expect that I'm going that to- That was wrong. <laughs> so it's a mirror, but Gage has Norden, huh? Well, Alex is Alex, so... Bring Battery Man, which we both hmm. sort of perceive to be the best deck that we both have access to at the moment. And so because so of Gage's that, I actually don't want to bring Bladeless Clown Man. Blade Instead, with Norden. we're going to bring back the Clown. And Alex's is, really is Clown Blade without Norden. He's actually doubling back on a deck. But I feel like All this right. deck is actually quite good. Maybe like one of the other best decks I have access to. I think the last episode was just really unfortunate with the way things played out. So we've made some adjustments as necessary. And I think this time it'll be able to carry us over the finish line. So let's quickly do the card by card. Honestly, it's almost exactly the same as it was before. We saw BLS and Triple Valor and Double Assault Halberd paired with a Thousand Blades. Triple Gigabyte, the One Jurigato, Double Math, a Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness. Triple Juggler, Double Hat Tricker, and Triple Clown. For BLS, for Darks, we have Jurigato, but also our King of the Feralims is Dark, and we're almost always making this, so we're going to pretty much have BLS live the whole game. For Spells, we uh, modified this a bit, so we got Book, Dark Hole, Foolish Burial, Triple Lance to make sure our guys stick, Pot of Greed, Soul Charge, and Triple Upstart Goblin. Game 2 of the last episode felt very winnable if our deck didn't fail us i felt like we just hit like a really clunky hand and so we could have maybe played it differently but in any case i feel like just smoothing the deck out more and just being able to draw more of it i feel like that actually could solve the problem so we slimmed down the traps a bit we only have one bottomless double breakthrough skill a compulse judgment warning and torrential the extra is basically exactly the same it's dweller castell digasso emerald dark rebellion exceeds dragon exiton double samurai in case one gets stopped we can follow up with another one to be able to otk triple king of the feralins because is like the best card in our extra deck the bobble chain double 101 ragna as well as trapeze magician and the side is interesting gauge could bring a myriad of different decks to today's duel so i wanted to try to cover everything so we have like dd crow and soul release for any of like the graveyard based decks if he brings like this deck for instance like the graveyard hate there would be quite good but also covers random stuff like ruler skull servant just like there's so many weird decks that he's played that have graveyard reliance that these cards could be useful. Grammel's good against a lot of decks, so I just want to have it in here. We, of course, have Parapara Para Cerberus, which can out weird things, and plus Math can easily send it to Grave. Dark Hole to, uh, to ward off more aggressive decks. We have MST in case he's on more back row decks. And then for this deck specifically, or any other like rank four extra deck reliant deck, we have Blackhorn of Heaven just to pretty much stop his summons altogether. This also plays through Lance if he's on it. And then also Mischief of the Gnomes. I only have one copy more of like this. More like Mischief of sucks, the. But this card can just. <laughs> absolutely mischief of the bones to resolve it. i think he might be boarding this or stygian dirge but we only have one of this and no stygian dirge so that's gonna suck and then uh if he is playing battery men we also have the light mirror just to wax him uh if he brings that so i'm feeling pretty good about this i think with a bit more refinement we should be able to clean this one up and uh, get out of the banning and most importantly make sure he doesn't take the lead so ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel okay this episode, I want us to keep track of... You know what? Let's make a fucking bet. Eh? You and me, Chad. Let's make a fucking bet. Who here has seen Uncut Gems? You all know the insane bet that uh, Adam Sandler's character takes. Let's do something similar, all right? He bet the Celtics won the opening tip. Garnet had 26 points and rebounds, and the Celtics win, right? Here's what I got. Alex... Summons the first king of the Feralimps. Mm. 
King of the Fair Olympus is going to be summoned six times. And Alex is going to win 2-1. That's what I got. Gage, I I don't know how we keep getting in this position. Uh, I went on a three win streak, set you into the banning. You went on a three win streak, set me into the banning. We're tied for like the 500th time this series. It's never going to end. If it's going to be this close until we get to the very end of season two, uh, people are going to be loving the ride at high speed at which this is going. How you feel? Yeah, but if the prophecy is anything but already told, bro, I'm going to get this lead and then I'm going to quickly lose it <laughs> following the next few episodes. So <laughs> That's if you even get it in the first place. Yeah, right? I, I got to beat you first this time. But, uh, yeah, I, dude, I'm really upset you got rid of my Dante. I got to play with it for one episode. One episode. I I got to be honest. I was looking at your card pool, and I'm like, damn. We hardly have any cards that are different between the two of us. But, like, that deck's playable for you, and it's not playable for me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to ban Dante. Don't have to worry about it. You've targeted bans towards my decks before, so now it's my turn to return the favor. So you're welcome. It's only fair. It's only fair, bro. But it's let's get fair. this game started. I'm looking Let's to it. claim my victory and claim the lead yet again. And we'll shout the patron. Steven Kimball, thank you for All right, the Steven. support. What are you going to do for me, Steven? Steven. Thanks, Steven. No, cool. Steven. That one was a little bit quick. Did you roll the dice again? or Fuck. Did you forget? I them? did. I rolled two sixes. Mm, all right. Uh, I'll believe oh. you this time. All right, dude. I'm going. I used my speedroid red eye die. Oh, wow. <laughs> Topical with high speed riders. Look at him. I'll go first, okay? Come on, all right. no. All right, right, man. Good luck. Let's see what I got. Ooh. Ooh hoo, hoo. I'm happy with mine, too. I'm nervous, Gage. You. You've had several crazy decks recently, and I have no idea which of them you're bringing to the table. <laughs> I've had so. a few. Definitely some uh, some bangers. Uh, I think this one might also be a slammer. I'm really confident. All right, dude, let's start. I'm going to go special summoning with no monsters on my side of the field. Photon Thrasher. Okay. All right. Sure. You might already be getting some some ideas of what I'm playing, and it'll be all I but certain. Thought. When I normal summon Trick Clown. Okay, let's do it. All right, first X Y Z. Who's it gonna be? I'm feeling. Oh, I wonder. No! Oh fuck! Oh god damn it! I bet you are. Bet <laughs> All right, are. detach. Uh, I'll get a search. You will. Okay, I'll pick up Gigabyte out of the deck. All right. What did I say? Clowns Six effect. King of the Fair Olympus? That's points. one. I'll reborn it. Excuse me. You're going to take 1,000 damage. That's different than paying 1,000 Oh, 1, excuse me. Points. Yes, it's not even a cost, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's back. Got a Spellcaster. The Gigabyte pairs well with that. All right. Now I got to think. Uh, this is always where the options come oh, up. Oh, don't think too hard, buddy. Uh, I could make another hard read. Hard Ragna Zero. We learned just the other episode that that's a on either player's turn. So... <laughs> <laughs> Card's pretty good. I'm learning the monster wrong. has to be in attack position. You're learning it's on either player's turn. You know, we're yeah. both learning, you know? <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. Progression series in one way or another. Uh, all right, what do we got? I can make Dweller with a water and that's Ooh. pretty good but that would have to that's be. pretty cool actually that's actually pretty fun that unfortunately would have to be a crazy read of what you're on today and i got no clue man i have no idea what you could what's your today. no soul read no Usually soul read this time. this time in, the, uh, in these games no, I how feel are like they with taking 30 riders, there's to enough really this. cool cards in it that you would bring something different so I'm, I'm confident that you're switching it up let's go um no way i'm about to make a second one of these guys bro i don't know the follow-up's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> what was that board you made like an episode or two ago? It was like imps, imps, uh, Ragna Zero, chain, Ragna Zero, like I that. think. Was that crazy, board? crazy type board, bro? <laughs> All right. What uh, is going what? on in chat? I think it's just fine to go for the other one here. I'm going to do it. I agree. All right. That's I'm going to detach the, King the, of the Gigabyte and I'm going to get a search. I will pick up a. I'll pick up a Kage token. Chad, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, get jiggy with really you. weird pasta. All right, I'm going to set one Very card strange and, pasta. Uh, two XYZs. Let's this see is some Olive Garden ahead. quality pasta. It's scary, pasta. too, because if those stick around, it's going to be a problem for this me. This is the uh, kids' meal me. spaghetti yep. at uh, McDonald's. Let's pick up two more while we're at it. Yep. You got some cards. I get some cards. We all get some cards. Okay. Well, now I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with these kings. I know you've got a Kage to Kage for the follow-up is annoying and this trick clown might come back potentially as well i mean this probably seems like the move so let's uh let's try it i'm gonna start by specialing out a hat tricker thank you for having two guys on the field for oh. everybody. 
No problem, bro. Are you on something similar to me? Uh, <laughs> when you see this gigabyte, will that answer your question? <laughs> oh, yeah. These are both oh, special. We got to ban the number fine. four. Um, that is okay. I think that yeah, that's yeah. the only way uh, out here. We got to ban the number four. These two, case. they're counting too and many times to four. I'm sick of it. We don't like it. We don't like four, chat. Too much four. Three. Three was okay. too much. Three um, was too much here. for little Alex. Dude, the fact that little special, Alex like couldn't said, take it. He said three. Oh, my goodness. this is probably the best play. Three, that's too many for me. Four. I'll take I'm going four. to put him face down. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do this. Otherwise, I'm gonna get cooked. I will lance to protect. Yeah, my we king. have to lance. Okay. Here. Um. Okay. <laughs> wait. Wait. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. This resolves. Okay. Sure. Uh, and then we'll three use on king. king. Um, we got a ban king. We got a search here. You got another gigabyte or kage to kage. You really needed this, bro. You really. Oh, I would look so silly. I, I'm just hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay. Just thinking about Valoring. You could probably already tell what I'm thinking, what I'm pondering. I, I'll over. tell, yeah. Uh, the, also, what? this guy sank by eight, so... Uh, yeah. That's, like, the, the helpful thing, right? Is, like, it being sunk by eight means that you can't crash Feral Imps. I really don't know if you... You seem like you need this card to keep going. So, all right. I'm going to make the read that this is good enough. If it's not, hey... I'll get punished. I'm going to effect Valor, your king of the I wonder if you soul charge right. here. Uh, this for like this one. king of the Feral Imps is just eating everything. Yeah, right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's really Greatest taking every value form of interruption from of the me. Feral Imps yeah, of all time. It's been kind of crazy. All right, he still has okay. a normal summon, though. That, I'm terrified of this normal summon. Well, I guess we have to do what we can. I feel like if I let these kings stick around, this is going to spiral out of control real quick. Spiral? So is that a reference to I the guess white face? We do what we must. Uh, I am going to normal summon this Thousand Blades. Sure. Soul Charge for one. Oh. Does not mm. trigger Thousand okay, Blades. Okay, the Forbidden Extender. <laughs> All right, yes, that one. the Forbidden Extender. Yes, that works. Okay. Okay, so we're going to overlay. Uh, this also gets my Thousand Blades in rotation, which is terrible. Oh, we could Ragna Zero Spawn. pop our own guy. I think here probably 101 is yeah. okay. Put your fucking sure. 101 in uh, defense. I'm going to take the one that doesn't have your Trick Clown. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Now, I can't attack because I did soul charge. Uh, I know your hand is a Kage Takage. Yep. You have one other card, and you're going to draw for turn. And unfortunately, I think that's probably all we can really do here. So I'm just going to set one. I'm going to pass. My imps will go back up to turn. I wonder if he, okay. like, this back row better hard be compulses The back row, bro. <laughs> it better be the one to, to win you the game because... I'm going to oh. compulse this before you get the value out of it. Okay. It, That's it was a good one. Good, it was right? a good it one, but I still think it's not going to be enough body. to save you here. That's going to resolve. Probably That's not. fine. Yep. Extra deck to it. I am going to use the trick clown. I'll spend the 1,000. I figured. Back. I couldn't let you get another card out of it. It's I understand. Part. I understand. It, do it doesn't seem that weird. Okay. All right. I'll start by normal summoning. Star drawing. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, then, my fucking summon, person. You already are familiar with the Kage to Kage in the hand. We're yes. going to special summon now. Kage to Kage. Okay. I'm going to take the Kage to Kage in the Trick Clown. I'm going to exceed them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make, uh, just bring him back. King of the Feral Imps. Oh, and now we can get yep. Gigabyte. I'm use the Feral Imps. I'll keep the Trick Clown underneath this there. This is so and I will fucking pick boring. Up another copy oh, my of God. <laughs> It's very funny that star drawing is a spell. Yeah, that's I, I had to double check that one. There we go. Least, you know, it's almost better. We'll overlay these two. Had, I'll choose uh, to make them fours. What's going to be my four of choice? Well, that they had Shockmaster in the OCG because at least these games would end at some point. Oh, that's right. Okay, I, that's silly me, right? You would read the full <laughs> star drawing text. <laughs> this isn't Constellar Cost Gauge, okay? Uh, <laughs> I know that's what you were thinking. Uh, this is. Uh, I bet that means someone is not far do I just behind make you. Another fucking feral imps? <laughs> Am I gonna do that? I'm excited. It's feral. Oh no no no! This is this is the best choice. All right, Feeling I will two. make Ragna zero, sure. and I will draw a card. Yep, per the star. How are we making the Ragna zero? Yeah. Okay, I will go battle phase. I will go Ragna zero into okay. the King of the Feral Imps. 100 attack points over. It's perfect. And then I'll take yep. off that last material from Silent Honor Arc. Yep, Thanks. and I'll take 200 for yep. that. And then I will trigger my Thousand Blades. Silly me. I need to read cards more. Oh, often. you That's going to be fine. Uh, I will set a card, and I will just uh, pass my turn. Go ahead. All right. So I got my work cut out for me. I'll draw. I bet we make another Stand rank for here. Okay. Got to deal with Ragna. Got to deal with another Feral Imp. Still got a Trick Clown chilling under there. And you have a back row to make things even more fun. I do. I'm going to normal damage juggler. Sure. That's fine. Uh-huh. 
Mm, wait, she I don't know if you have the last card in your hand, right? Nope. Uh, I don't remember if you have a second silent honor arc, and you were, you're not a good enough friend to tell me. So <laughs> I don't. I don't. He remember. has a second honor arc. Um, we know. This is either like super heads up or like the worst play in the game. It. All right. Fuck. Ah. Ah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's it's the worst. It's, it's game one, bro. I can make these risks. I'm going to activate torrential tribute. <laughs> Gage, this I'm noticing a trend here this season. <laughs> I know it looks bad. I know uh, it looks bad. It doesn't bad. look good. <laughs> Let me explain. What's gonna happen? Is okay. All your cards are gonna go to graveyard. Sorry. You can get your uh -huh. silly little damage juggler effect. You can't search anything because they all require a summon. Uh, you need two monsters for hat trick. Or I'll retain the one with trick clown. If I make it to the next turn and you don't do anything, like, That's you're true. dead. You are dead. So, I'm having the hard read that you don't have anything else. Okay. Let's let's see what happens then. Okay. Sure. They're all out of here. Everything goes, and then I'll pay the 1000 for my trick clown. All right. This is where you pass. This is this is where the script says you pass. I will damage juggler. Okay. A great opportunity expected. to get trick grab trick clown. Okay, also expected. And I'll pass. Oh, <laughs> we did it. Okay, draw for turn. Say I'm dead. Let's see Stand it. Stand by me. Are you dead? You better be dead after all of that. <laughs> after all of that struggle, <laughs> you better be dead. Um, all right, I'm going to start by normal summoning damage juggler. Uh-huh. Sure. I will special summon from my hand gigabyte. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Um, let's exceed these two. Damage juggler in hand, an unknown. Trick clown in hand. Trick clown, that's the one. Sorry. Um, that's a pretty big difference. Yeah, damage juggler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read this trapeze magician. This is going to make yeah, you this shit. This is like the OTK guy. We're just doing wow, trapeze this card's like so here, much right? better than I ever thought it was, bro. Every oh, time yeah, I read it, it just crazy. stuns me. What is that? Trapeze magician? It, trapeze magician's amazing. <laughs> it's what insane. a great insane. card. It's crazy. That's why I re-rolled uh, Clash of Rebellion so I could pull it. Wow. No, you're dead here then if this goes through. So, okay, I... Ooh, damage juggler would be fierce, but you don't have it. I'm going to make the, the trapeze magician. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to use the trapeze magician. I'll detach the clown, and I'll target okay. itself. Sure. No. And then I will pay the 1,000 for the trick clown. No. Mm-hmm. Look at all the that. No. Uh-uh. Oh, you've gotten off this trick clown. I know. It's, it's been used four times. Insane. How does... It's like the only thing that this card says. All right. We're going to exceed here. Five. I need to make something with seventeen. I can. Worst case scenario is Gores doesn't. Gores comes down. I I, I lose the Gores. I guess. I guess that's just the way this is gonna be. Um. <laughs> I don't have a way to beat it. So. <laughs> I guess. Famous last word. Yeah. Right. I guess. Um. I guess by some divine intervention, if you get one more turn, let's go Lavaval Chain. Okay. Well, then this doesn't I'll matter. You could have done this anyway, stack. right? The I'm Lavaval going to stack would just be the black going twice. Soldier. Makes sense to me. All right, battle phase. Can we go game two? Did I spend all this time doing this for nothing? 25, uh, 25, and then damage juggler attack. No, I've got thousand blades. That's right. I forgot that card again. <laughs> this is Bro, good. God I'm glad it. this is happening. Attack. I'll take five. If I made anything else, it did not matter. I can. You could have dwellered me. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta hurt him like this? <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. All right, look, damn it! What do you got? Trick clown in hand? Fuck it! That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> I'll go end phase. This guy destroys your move. We're literally right, dead. I'll We're draw. so Fuck, fucking dead. We're so oh. dead. <laughs> okay. He's just going to make one on one and kill us. Uh, and this is actually maybe perfect. Yeah, we just win. We win. The follow up OTK? 101. Yeah, like no. All right. Tat normal trick clown. Yeah. <laughs> Special gigabyte. Yeah. God, really uh, having overlay. the thousand oh, blades this actually is may not so be enough, good. Oh, God. The, the swings of this game are so intense. Oh, God. We could go Gaga Ga Samurai. Just, I'm not going to do it the way that I was expecting you to do it. Uh, so we're going to go for 101. Sure. I'm going to take your guy. Detach the clown for me. Yeah, you're going to trigger that clown, buddy? I might. A thousand life points for a shot blocker. Like. Yeah, you have to. Yes, I You're will dead that. otherwise. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to pay a thousand for my trick clown. Uh, mm -hmm. That triggers my thousand blades. 
Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to overlay for Gaga Ga Samurai. Mm -hmm. This is enough. And yeah. we'll detach Samurai, and uh, this should be game, my friend. Oh, so I can't believe we won. I literally had that. <laughs> that's that's an embarrassing one. That is an embarrassing um, one. We cheated and we lost anyway. I I hate myself. Yeah, let's go game two. <laughs> <sighs> Woof. <laughs> Sorry, man. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh God, I'm angry. Alex turned off his his camera, and Gage is still like yelling at the screen. What was the cheat? You're not allowed to target uh, trapeze oh, magician. I cannot with wait magician. to see the comment section after that one, bro. <laughs> I I'm embarrassed. That was so easy. It was in sight. I just literally had to summon the right card. It's fine. I'll get it game two because I'm very confident in my side deck against this matchup. It's okay. okay. At least you didn't uh, summon a dweller in attack position when you had like yeah. 300 life points. Uh, Ooh, who okay. Well, so Alex's hand I know. I heard about some blows silly ass. little guy doing that, bro. I couldn't imagine. What a bozo play. Right. All right, dude. Let's. But he didn't have it then. <laughs> it would only be 5,900. All right, let's get played. Uh, I'll start with Perform Mage Damage no, Juggler. Been... Sure. Normal summon. The Gigabyte. Uh, no Gigabyte. Well, Unless you mean if he the didn't The Gigabyte. Cheat. Not Kage Tokage. I thought you said the wrong one. What? A... <laughs> that guy. Uh, and then I also have a Hat Trigger. So sure. I'll special summon that. Sure. Uh, we're going to take the Gigabyte in the Damage Juggler. I'm going to exceed them. I'm going to make the King of the Feral Imps. All right, that's five. I'll be detaching the damage juggler to search. Is that okay? I'll be veiling the damage or the the barrel limbs. It's same thing. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the damage juggler the king! to detach oh, the oh, oh. perform mage. Um, I will pick up another hat trigger. Sure. I love she that you don't not have once to per turn. This is like not once per turn. Anything Isn't that crazy? That. That's so funny. I, it's so crazy. <laughs> All right. Cool. What are we making with this guy? Now? Another king. I do just get the vibes to make another chain like. Or not a ching, the the king. I'm gonna do that. You know what? The feral imps, bro. This was the this was you struggled to beat this turn one board last time. That's even six. though you did it. That's but gotta be the last <laughs> it took one. You a minute. So I'm gonna make another one. Oh Try my again. god, bro! <laughs> I don't know how mad you can be about. I hope this. those last three cards two. actually can play the fucking game. I hope. I hope. <laughs> I'll set one and I'll pass. Go ahead. Considering you have a backer, I'm not feeling uh, too. Ah, we don't really have too much to do here. Right, main one. Yep. Uh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> This is not good. No. I'm going to set two and pass. No, no. Guys, is he okay? I'll draw. <laughs> is he Stand okay? Is he main? Is the main yeah. okay? Is he stupid? Oh, my God. King. Is that fine? He's got to break through it. Yeah. He's uh, like, he's he's like, like I, have to I, save I can him tell already. Better. Like, I was waiting for him to summon into my torrential tribute. Foolish. <laughs> I can't believe he just activated the effect. Who um, would do such a thing? <laughs> I will search off a uh, Kage to Kage. I'll use my other King of the Fairlands. This one, I'll pick up a Gigabyte. Yeah, sure. I don't even think I'll summon now, bro. <laughs> like, I'll just go battle. I don't know. Two, if three, you get Torrential Tear, is it I'll that big it. of a deal? Yeah. Main phase two, I'll place a back, or I'll just pass the turn. I'll watch you squirm. Oh, I'm, I'm, Ooh, I'm more squirm. Kinky. I will set one and pass. Go ahead. Oh, no, bro. No, that's not good. I, I wonder oh, if I summon good. anything this time. <laughs> I'm just going to go battle phase. Do something. Do something. Like 23. Game. The most Compulsive. valuable game of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. okay. <laughs> all right. Main phase two. I'll just pass. I'll wait, bro. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> this deck is so... We set DD Crow here. We have to set DD Crow. I'll... Oh, my God. I'll <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have a choice, man. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll draw. We have to keep the trick clown in case we draw a Gigabyte. Stand by main. All bad. right, man. I'll normal summon damage juggler. Would you like to torrential tribute? No, I'm good. Uh, breakthrough skill's not bad. <laughs> no! Uh, not oh my skill. goodness. Bottomless isn't bad here. <laughs> what, what? Dude, if this is exactly trick cloud, you live by a hundred. I... <laughs> I'm not gonna run into torrential. Uh, if you... I'll just go battle phase. Um... He's really psyching him out. You got it. Yeah, I, I, I we, don't it. we don't talk about oh, it. We don't talk about it. Okay, well. If I go in the... If I, go I can't in the believe we won that one. Back, I'm gonna feel like the smartest cookie alive. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't bottomless there. We were just dead on board, right? What's going on? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're just going to go first. We're going to move on. That's <laughs> that all right. Unbelievable. That's all right. That was like flashbacks of the last time I played this deck. And oh, oh, shit. It is not yeah. going to Oh, my God. Oh, maybe not for you, bro. My hand's looking good. I think you should hopefully have a play to do something. Otherwise, you're losing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we YOLO it. I'm gonna set four cards. In All right, I have Alex are, are winning two one. Smoke screen? What are you playing now? <laughs> how did how did this all of a sudden turn Don't into Don't worry set four about pass? it, buddy. Don't worry about it. Draw. Stand yep. by. Main. All good. 
There's no dust shoot. Uh, it looks that. bad, but this like true? absent I'm going harpy's to, feather no duster, we field, do still win. I think. Thrasher. Totally fine. I will normal summon. Compulse gets us a two for one. Annoying, but Blackhorn gets us a two for one. Solemn gets us a two for one. I still think like torrentials like. A card you might have. Bottomless uh, Compulse I've seen out of you. Um, so if I throw these into an XYZ, you... I wonder if it was worth foolishing is, for, um, for Thousand Blades to just to stave off I'll go damage. Battle Phase, and I'll attack for 16. That is A-OK with me. Me too. I'll just set and pass. Fucking go ahead. What, why are we I'm not going to make okay. anything. Like, I'm not going to let you just Compulse Oh, those. come on. Uh, stand by main. I'll why even pass. summon the Photon Thrasher? Love to see it. Draw! <sighs> And this is exactly torrential. Like putting more cards on the board is fine. I will, I will special hat trigger. Sure. Battle phase 11, 16. They can both. <laughs> I, I don't want to make anything. I is, is that weird? Am I, I mean, making, if you like, make really something with the thrasher and the trick clown, it doesn't I change make, any doesn't of the do math, anything. right? Like I'm just gonna pass again. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'll draw. Jurigato is not me. bad. That's a way to, like, blank a battle phase. Um, foolish Burial. Sure. I'm going to dump Damage Juggler. Sure. Damage Juggler effect. Sure. Oh, we can get going. We'll add Trick Clown. Okay. I bet Gage has... Normal Trick Clown. Okay. Battle. A... Okay. I will attack into your Hat Trigger. Sure. Okay, yes. I, 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 did you know Hat Trigger has a secret effect? Yeah, <laughs> it never comes up. <laughs> I don't think. I, yeah, I don't up. think I've ever seen anybody ever use this before. All right, I'm gonna take the 500. This is gonna go to graveyard. Sure. Uh, and then I'm also gonna special Jurigato. This is during the battle phase. During battle step. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you just want to put the card on the table, or do you want to use its effect? Uh, well, it's special summons, and I gain a thousand. So is that fine? Oh, I didn't even really. Use... Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Uh, no, I'm not using it to. Uh, I'm not gonna pump. No. Okay. Um, I just want it for a guy. I'm going to hit your Trick Clown. Yes, I will take the 100. Um, I will use the Trick Clown effect. I'll just bring it back in defense. Mm -hmm. Sure. And it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep. Okay. Second main. Well, now we can get That's going. We, 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 like, we want to get off to the races here. Do We have? We don't have a little chain. Are we just chain. devolving into this game state where neither one of us wants to commit to anything because the back row is just all stuff to <laughs> handle the exotic monsters? Like, got, it's it's kind of funny. Bro, you've got of four of them. I've got one. <laughs> and you're like... Like, yeah, but like you can't even attack me right now. Like your Thrasher can't attack, and then Trick Clown zero. So like I'm kind of just chilling yeah, right I think now. He's, I think he's these chilling. are true. If that's if that's what makes you feel safe, buddy. Like all I'm saying um, is you better have Solemn back there because as soon as I take these two cards and I make Evil Swarm Exciton Knight, you're getting dumpstered. It's fair. Uh, I'm chilling. Go. Stand by main. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I go down to six if I exceed. Well, the choice is stupid easy. I will exceed into Exciton Knight. Do you have a Solemn? I do have a Solemn. Yes. Okay. We don't even have a Solemn. But Understandable, good to, Mr. Good to do it like this. You want to preserve the one then. I was waiting for you to just like lead me into that, and then you're like, okay, and I have judgment, <laughs> and the game is over. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm not that good at the game. I wish. Uh, Let's see here. All right. Would you like to trigger your trick clown? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did that just to crow you. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Uh, not the hand. My bad. Uh, it does not pay life points, bro. It does. It's not a. It pay. doesn't. Yep. Huge. Okay, man. All right. Uh, well, I guess I gotta start playing the game somehow. I don't even think I want to do anything. I'm like so scared of what you're capable of, which is not normal. Right? He's psyching like, himself <laughs> out. He's psyching himself out. Um, not a good position to be in. He's I will just himself out. set a card. I'll just pass. Okay. Go ahead. I'll draw. That's what I'm fine. Yep. 16. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to play fucking 17. guys. This is what you were doing to me, buddy. This yeah, it was. It's me. an exact reversal. All right. Got another back row. Go ahead. Fear is the Fear mind me. killer. It really is. Got you on lethal Fear's next turn, buddy, if you don't have anything. Know. You know, they actually didn't do I'll that too much in the second movie. And, uh, I'm scared. I am just going to set a card, a monster this time, and I will pass my turn. Go ahead. Back row and a monster. Huh? Okay. I'll draw. Um... I mean, you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to do something eventually. Yeah, I think we just go battle. Let's see if Jurigato can get in. Uh, Sure. It is damage juggler. Okay. Then I'm going to go 16. I'm going to have to take it. Okay. okay. I see that. Um, This has been working so far, so I'm just going to stick to my guns. Go ahead. Draw. Damn. All right, man. 
All right, I'll start by banishing Jamage Juggler. Pick up some from the deck. Okay. I'll pick up a Hat Trigger. Sure. I'll special Hat Trigger. So I have two monsters. Uh, that's you know, kind of sucks we special haven't seen Gigabyte. Instant Fusion yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Just going to keep walling and hope you can live. Well, I mean, okay, if, like, the read the entire time has been compulsory evacuation device, this board dies to that. I lose to it. So, like, I got to make something, and it's not going to stick. So I think this game is, like, it's a loss. Like, you played it really well. Um... I'm going to overlay these two. I'm so frustrated, too, because of that game one, bro. I'm literally not going to ever forget this. I guess I'm going to make fucking King of the Phalanx. Is that fine? Can you please it's Black Hornet so it stays at six? <laughs> it's not fine. That back row better <laughs> be crazy. God. Yeah, it's not. It's not crazy enough to beat that. Yep. That's not That's yeah, not seven. That's good. That, the summon was I, negated. You got this one. I, <laughs> no, no, really? All right, we won the second two. You, you played six this and two one. Juragator. But uh, we missed the tip off. Crisp. Unbelievably, like. <laughs> tight I, I i that game one i'm gonna be thinking about it for the rest of my life but but i will say bro i i waited i had some side deck cards that yep. i thought were gonna be able to crush but when you do nothing at all they don't do anything bro. like so i had stingy and dirge That's super polyvis breakthrough skill yeah so none of these do anything when you choose to do nothing you're probably bro get, are you flustered with that super poly what do you think i have i'm yeah i you when you're like super poly like do you S is starving venom legal? Like, what the hell are you super polying for? <laughs> the super poly target's a really, really off the wall one. It's only one that became okay. available to us last set. You remember last set? Really? You remember what was what it was? last set? Last set was uh, mega. It was mega pack, wasn't it? Yeah, it was mega pack. I got a pretty cool card out of the mega tin. <laughs> are you? Is this clicking with you at all? I don't know. I My you doctor. did not. <laughs> Take a guess. What, you what do you think did I did? Not... <sighs> like, show me fucking Nord Engage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, he's god! A... <laughs> it took so long to get a promo slice on the wheel. There's been so many crazy things I could build, <laughs> and this one was fresh out with the new pack, and I'm I just sick couldn't of this say fucking no. Deck. So I had to take Someone Nord. Banned I was hoping, bro, you make two feral King of the Feral Imps, oh, you would be sent to the Shadow Realm almost immediately. That's so annoying. This is going to be so annoying for me to deal with. I almost kind of wish I lost now so I could just ban this. So I'm not going to ban the number yeah, four. Right? Oh, my God. It's very, left Dante I say, illegal. It's so incredibly frustrating that I have three instant fusion in this deck. You and didn't, I didn't get to use it. Any of the games. Yeah. yeah uh, that's wild. But I, I still think this card is like, it was way too good to pass up on. I think it was either between I him agree. and like I had some crazy stuff with Disc Commander I've been cooking up. Or, no, I, Norden's I I way better than Disc Commander. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, none... Norden's <laughs> way better. If I got it's a promo okay. slice now, because obviously we have to wait till we hit the Mega Pack to hit the 20, 2002, um, I'll summon an 1800 slice, attack monster and win the game by attacking. So, 2015, like, that's one of the things I'll this summon a 1600 missing, attack monster right? and win and, like, the game by attacking. I know your version of this deck pre-Norden wasn't Very funny that Gage is like, man, Trappy's Magician gets better every time I read it, then illegally targets itself, then misplays. <laughs> oh man. Can't wait to see how MBT reacts to hey Joseph's in the set. Fuck off. Oh my god. I'm convinced that Simo and Gage are a single organism that share the same brain. No way they bring the same decks to the table so often. <laughs> This is a crazy take. I'm going to ban the most obvious thing to ban. <laughs> oh, holy. Let's see if we can get a uh, gauge on the horn. happening hello what up buddy hey how you doing i'm actually doing all right having a pretty good day today how are you that's buddy? good i'm i'm chilling you know you know me it's monday i'm just chilling i'm trying yeah. to trying to make money by leeching your content <laughs> and as you normally do yeah right yeah you, yeah, gotta, yeah. you gotta make a living it's, it's, not, it's new um we just finished watching uh the most recent progression you play the clown blade mirror Oh, 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 yeah, that one. <laughs> bladeless, uh, bladeless clown blade versus Nordenless clown blade. Oh, yeah, this is the one where I fucked up the game one, right? 
Uh, yeah, I don't think the fuck up is that bad. I, uh, I don't know, man. This was just a, a pretty bleak series of games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It was, it was fun, though. Um, it was the mirror match. It is yeah. what it is. We, we um, better. we gotta, I was saying we gotta ban the level four. Just, we they, gotta just ban the, the number four. level four? No, That'd no level four monsters ever again. King of the Fairlimps, man. Probably the greatest progression series monster of all time. Yeah, Alex and I are talking about, um, we're doing a play mat yeah. for, like, the midway point. And uh, we were talking about, like, cards that, like, represent both of us and, like, what, what side would they go on? And we, we hit King of the Fairlimps and we're like, shit, who's, 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 whose side does that guy go to, bro? <laughs> like, yeah, no, like, he's, he's just around. We both get one? Like, yeah. he's just kind of around. He's Let doing me... his thing. Oh, let me uh, let me let me think. Chat, what do you think the uh, the monsters would be? For sure, King of the Feralimps. We um, got a whole list of them together. Some of them are great. Somebody mentioned one of them, and I don't know the reference. Maybe you can tell me, or somebody in chat. Yeah. Hold on. Let me pull this up. It was a, a plugin not found substitute. <laughs> Something with like a, maybe a broken graphic from substitute. <laughs> Does anyone have the the specific episode? But yes, there's a there's a weird the, there's a weird uh, place where they they just have the like default plugin not found in the video. <laughs> uh, Best Yari is a good one. Uh, Chain Strike, uh, Uniflora. That's a funny one. Uh, oh, the Uniflora is a good one. Some of the old. I it was crazy. We were trying to figure out like. Really, really old ones, like ones in like the earlier episodes. BLS. And the, I, we, I didn't realize how many episodes we have in season two until we started trying to think of like old school ones. Like one of the old ones that came up was like when I magic jammered a snatch steal or something like that on the Monarch deck when I was mm -hmm. playing that. The magic jammer, crazy. Um, I could read you off some of the good ones. We I, I imagine you get Skull Servants, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some of the ones we have is like for Alex... Like he has Grand Mole as one of the the main characters because he's the man, uh, and he's gonna be standing on like a pile of redoer tickets because he never spends. That's them. funny, yeah. Yeah, he's got like Berserk Gorilla near him. Sure. Warrior Elimination. I can't, I still what? I forgot. About I that do one. not remember that one. <laughs> he ended up siding like Warrior Elimination when we were playing like a wacky hero deck or something. Sure. And it was like the wildest tech. He just had it, uh, and also Card Cardi being his favorite rock monster. Mm. That's one of my personal favorites. I like that one. Uh, from my side, we got like Penguin Soldier. Oh, Barbar was a recent one. Mm -hmm. But how about Norden showing today? Wasn't that crazy? Yeah, he went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he went absolutely berserk. Popping dude. off, man. He. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was rough. I I felt bad for Mister Norden. I was that was fucked up. I felt bad for Dante. I like how Alex in the Vanig is like. I'm going to go out on a limb and make maybe a, a crazy decision here, but I think I should ban Dante. And it's like, oh, yeah, man, that's nuts. That is, what a wacky decision. <laughs> Love her. She's so crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Norden VPN. Thanks, chat. I can always count on you to make the absolute lowest hanging fruit joke. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> what what the fuck's going on with your uh, with your pack opening, by the way? Um. There's no more ads on it. Oh, that's temporary. I, I can let me check my most recent. You gotta put the I'm ads. I'm pretty back sure in. there was ad ads on there, bro. I don't know if I maybe had a, a, a breakthrough. <laughs> I guess you could call it a lapse of judgment for that episode. <laughs> there should always be ads to look at. <laughs> no, there's okay, though, no, there's advertisements. On the most recent one, I got a Squarespace ad. Oh, are you looking to make yeah. a website? Are you looking to build I a website? I already have a website, bro. I have a website. Optimal.shop. Is that a Squarespace site? It is a Squarespace site. I actually don't mind Squarespace. It's a good website. And then also, I have ads for um, taxes. What is this? HR Block, I think. So ooh, That's uh, the scariest ad I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know about that one, buddy. Ooh, wow. The <laughs> best apparel. There's you in the ghost. God, you look so young. You must have taken this like two or three years ago, right? Probably. Wow. <laughs> we got Mago in the background there. Made with Squarespace. Yeah, there it is. We have uh, the optimal Twitter. If you oh, receive, that, I haven't uploaded anything to Twitter in a minute. If you receive optimal merch, share a pic and tag me. I want to see. Nobody. <laughs> 
bitch. <laughs> Why are you exposing me right now, bro? Come on, man. I didn't. What, what are you talking about? You show the one tweet that was made half a century ago. Exposing me, bro. Crazy. Damn. Here, here you are again. 2023. What happened to this haircut? Are we gonna get the the gauge fade again? Hold on. Let me. I don't even have your stream up. Let me check this out. The phage. <laughs> I, thought, I mean, okay. So, dude, actually, like, ever since I've moved, mm -hmm. I went and got my hair cut at, like, a different place for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, I all throughout my childhood and up until, like, I left PA, I got my hair cut from the same person all my life. What? And so it was, like, I just kind of, like, trusted that they were able to do it best, right? So, like, now that I moved, I had to find a new hairstylist. Finding a new and barber very hard. Yeah, it, I, well, it was, I don't think it was hard. I could find, like, places to go to, but it was stressful because I was just nervous because, like, I I don't know, man. I think if you have a bad haircut, like, it can ruin your life, your life for, like, yeah. a month. Like, mm -hmm. like you, you, you just look bad, you feel bad, and I mm -hmm. did not want to go through that. So I, I talked to this, this person. She, her name was Chris, and she was lovely. I was like, Chris, I, you got to understand, like – I need you to not fuck up my hair. <laughs> I was like, please, whatever you do, do not fuck it up. And she she did it up good. It looked good. That's so nice. like um I learned a lot from her actually. Like I learned that the the old hairstylist I went to, he was giving me like the wrong hair product and stuff to use. Like I always wondered this product I was using, it never like would keep the hair up and stuff oh. like that. And uh, she was telling me she's like, Oh yeah, that stuff's like too heavy. Like it's not gonna it's just gonna weigh it down after you wear it for an hour. And I was like, Oh well, I feel like an idiot now. So now I've changed a lot of my like product and stuff. And I think my hair is looking better. I, I feel better about it. So that's good. That's good. I'm always, have you, you've, you've only had the two hairstylists. So, um, yeah. you've not had the, the seminal hairstyle experience, which is you go to a barber, they say you like it and you go, yeah. And you walk out of the barber shop and you walk into a second barber shop and you go, you got to help me out. They fucked me up real bad. <laughs> they, so, they dude, really okay. So, up. Like I said, I went to the same barber the entire time. I got a haircut one time, and I don't know what the hell happened. It just did not look right. I, I think I asked for something maybe a little different, but mm -hmm. it looked bad, mm -hmm. like exceptionally bad this time. And I don't know. I don't ever want to cause confrontation, but yeah. my mother told me. She's like, you need to go back and say, like, it doesn't look good. <laughs> hey, and I was you... like, well, what are they going to do, mom? Are they going to cut off more hair? Are they going to make it grow back? I was like, what's the point of arguing? Mm -hmm. So I like, I, she made me go back and like complain and I got a refund, but I never felt great about it afterwards. I was like, that's something, well, you just got to like, you know, you got to let it grow back. That's the only solution. Yeah. No, I, I think there are, oh, I, I remember when I was living in, um, when I was living in Queens, we were in like a really poor part of Queens. We were like the only like white people around and uh, we just were having trouble. I was having trouble finding a barber who was like comfortable working on white people hair. And like mm -hmm. I went into like multiple barber shops and I was like, hey, I, I know this is a weird question. Are you comfortable cutting white people's hair? And a lot of a lot of them would be like, yes. And the, the answer that they meant to say was no. And then they'd like cut it and they'd be like, how is it? I'm like, it's great. And then I'd have to go to like a fucking super cuts in like fucking Manhattan. I'd be like, can you please just, I, it, it didn't work out. What's the worst haircut you've ever had? I mean, is there like the, a haircut you remember like getting that you're like, I, what the fuck is this? I remember there were some traumatic ones from, oh, fucking all through my childhood. My dad cut my hair because we were poor as shit and he didn't want to pay. And, uh. <laughs> He got pretty good at it, but at the start, he was not very good at it. Uh, but um, my first haircut in college was exactly that situation. Was we went to the only barber shop around, and it was a, a black barber, and they were like, they were upfront about it. They were like, "Listen, we appreciate your business. I'm not great at cutting white people hair." And I was like, "It's fine, whatever. I'll just, I'll get it." And it was not fine. It, he gave me like. This is going to sound really racist. He gave me like a black person haircut. And I'm like a white guy. That's racist. I mean, it finished and I was like, it finished and I was like, I mean, I look kind of cool, but I look like I'm like, uh, that I'm like trying to do like, uh, like <laughs> colonialism. <laughs> I was like, yeah. he was like, yeah, man, I, I did what I could. And I'm like, 
I get it. I appreciate that. But everyone's going to go back and be like, why did you get that haircut? And I'm going to be like, <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, man. I <laughs> it was it was rough. <laughs> I just wanted to be cool. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say shit like that, no. <laughs> uh, no, that was that yeah, was the I, worst one. College in particular, yeah. I just I waited to get haircuts when I would go home. I would mm -hmm. go like every yeah. several months when I would go home, that's when I would get my haircut. That's that that would that's what I would do. Haircuts are hard. They're so hard. And it's oh, it's rough and hairstylists they have to be really upfront about like their own capabilities like you have to like prod them and be like listen like this is what i want is this something you can do and a lot of them are going to be like no i i hate it it's my my literal least favorite thing to do i don't think a lot of people will be up front you about that though i think they'll, they'll be yeah like, you kind of have to dig you have to be like okay i understand business, but like really i can do what i can it might not come out good but i need money right like yeah i imagine it's like a saturated spot too right like mm -hmm. i imagine there's a lot of people with that the ability to cut hair but mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh haircuts aside how you doing uh all right man uh just hanging out trying to get some work done uh i've been working on a video editing it myself oh uh, yeah i'm about to hit the live button here in like five minutes so. oh shit how was um i know you did hearthstone the other week how'd that end up oh great um I, that's the video i'm almost done working on and then tomorrow dude a new expansion comes out and it's so exciting it's a cool oh are you expansion. uploading the hearthstone video onto your channel yes yes i think that's gonna go live on my channel uh should be live by tomorrow i think i want to try to get it out before the new expansion comes out so oh I shit think it's, it's gonna go live maybe well I i'm thumbnail. super excited for that that's fucking tight dude i'm stoked for it man i i'm put i put a lot of time into it and uh I, i'm proud of it you know i haven't sat behind the editing sticks in a minute but uh, mm -hmm. it's been good. It's it's felt good. Does it, it does like, it feel weird to get like back into the groove of it and be like, oh shit, like, or is it like riding a it bike? It does. I don't. It's kind of nice though. I, I find myself smiling when I get lost in it. Like mm -hmm. like, a lot of times I'm just dreading it. But like when I like get into it for like an hour or two or something like that, and I I I, I finally snap out of it. I'm like, oh shit, I just got a lot of stuff done. Like that mm -hmm. felt really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I. I really, I, I do miss editing a lot. It's like once every like month, something will fall through and I have to put it together. And I'm like, ah, oh, man. And the thing with me is I'm like, I could be saving so much money if I did these. And then I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, no, you don't have time. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. You're the like, people you like, hire are oh. so much better than you are. Like, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah it's one of those things that i know like i'm capable of doing it but like mm -hmm. you always have to like consider there's somebody that maybe is just better for the job yeah of somebody course somebody that like has become more efficient at it and stuff like that too like it just has like yeah, more I've, I've, skill for me i feel like i'm spending like hours and hours on this edit that i feel like somebody else could look at and be like oh i could have thrown that together in three hours like what are you doing <laughs> yeah. and I'll be, i'm trying my best <laughs> what are you doing my best that's that's all i can do <laughs> Uh, well, I look forward to the video. I, I hope it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, Thanks. Can you that. give us uh, can you give us a preview of uh, next uh, next time on progression? On progression, uh, I I could if I we weren't so far ahead. We ended up filming yeah. like a couple episodes ahead just to get a couple in the bank. So I actually don't even remember what the next one is. Chat, in case you're wondering, like Alex is going to be gone for a significant amount of time. So like all of his series are like months ahead now, and so. I just know we're going to hit a point where, like, we just don't record forever, and I'll be like, I don't remember anything. I'm like, I don't <laughs> fucking know where we are. How good are you at, at doubling up with him? I know, like, we're, we're always <sighs> trying to find times where we can, like, squeeze it into the schedule. So it's much easier. It, it's much easier for history. We, when we were doing history and history of Jank, what we would do is we would double up every week, but on a different show. And the Jank ones, and history of OCG also has been easy. They're like, a recording for that takes like 40 minutes like front to back with like maybe 30 discussing the decks and shit beforehand um but history and a lot of the reason that it's on a hiatus by the end of it was just a fucking disaster because like playing a best of three of like both of you playing a combo deck you like sort of know takes like two hours so we would start recording at like 10 30 11 a.m and we'd finish at like four We'd be like, this was, oh, man. I, this was awful. Like, and we'd always come out like frustrated or upset and it, oh, it was terrible. It was, yeah, it was not good. Yeah. I imagine like I, we just this week, even what I got roasted for some plays for progression series. And it's funny. You can laugh those off, but you can't be making like 
glaring mistakes with like these combo decks to give an accurate representation of history, right? Exactly, so like, I totally yeah. get like you need to hire hold yourself at a higher standard. Damn, four hours, bro. I don't think I've ever had a, a filming session with Alex that long. That's crazy. well, because it was like we do like um. Let me let me check what the last two that we did were. It it sucks. It the, it was o it wasn't like this at the beginning, uh. But it was like once like 2016 happened, every deck is functionally like a go Legend off of combo the blue deck. Eyes and dragon so it would just be like one person sits down and does like a 15 minute turn super slowly. And then the next person does, and then the next person does. Chaos Imp. This uh, IP Mascarena like one, 37 minute video. It's like 20 minutes total of games, and it's like uh, Orcust versus um, the Sekka's Light BA combo deck. And both of those mm -hmm. took oh, forever. Least, and this yeah. last one I'll never forget because filming it was such a disaster. This Dragon Link one, it was Dragon Link versus Magician Souls Spiral. Holy, this like took 10 years off my life doing. Because the Dragon Link one is not only Dragon Link, which is already an impossible combo deck to play. I don't know your feelings on the strategy, but it's um. Well, this was like what is yeah. This is I was gonna say this is shoes. It's yeah. shoes list before anyone knew how to play the deck. So the yeah. combos yep. in this deck were never put on YouTube because by the time the deck list went up, the next release had come out and massively simplified and streamlined this these combos. The only things you can find from this era in terms of combo guides integrate Eep. Uh, the World Chalice Justiciar in here, and he just didn't play it. And so, like, we're, we're like, trying to reverse engineer these, like, Anesta rocket lines, and, like, we still don't know why Keeper of the fucking Dragons is in here, like, until recording, <laughs> and holy, he really was, like, on some 3008 shit, but the problem is when someone is that innovative, like, what do you do in representing it? How do you effectively communicate how ahead of his time he was? Yeah. No, she's crazy at the game, man. She's he's he's unbelievable. Crazy. It's he's one of those players that like you just get a sense that like they are playing a different game than you. <laughs> like sometimes you play against like you know who's like that is um uh Dinka Fam with like Pearly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you play against a player and you're like, oh, they're playing the same game I am, just to the maximum extent possible. And sometimes you play against someone who just like is playing a type of deck and a type of game that you're like, wow, in a thousand years, I don't think I would have figured this out, understood how to wield it in the way they are. And sometimes that's like really good. And sometimes they've like made a terrible medical and it sucks shit. But it's always like you are just you live in a different world than I do. That is crazy. I think it's even if they're like they're playing the same deck, though, I think it's really easy sometimes to be able to tell that skill difference amongst players. Like, yeah. I find myself playing against, like like you said, a good pearly opponent or something like that. Like, if they make a play, like, everybody can make the same pearly combo. Like, I can make the same pearly combo. But when people mm -hmm. start, like, I think it's really the game is, like, past turn two and three at this point. Like, when, mm -hmm. the, when nothing's, like, just concrete, like, you summon your guy and you make your full turn board. When you got to, like, play through your opponent's, like, disruption and stuff like that. I feel like that's the stuff that really makes me envious of pe people that are good at, like, evaluating situations like that. I, uh, I talked about this earlier on stream, but it was like, I played against, I don't know if you've played any uh, modern, like any just like normal. You, Not like, like recently. I've watched a little bit, but. So I have played against voiceless voice, like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 times. And mm -hmm. every time I'm like, oh, it's voiceless voice. Like here's, you know, here's the choke points. Here's the linear ass combo, whatever. And I went to locals this past weekend and I played this uh, voiceless voice player and they just played the deck in a way and I, that I was like, oh. Like, this is just a different deck. Like, when someone who is competent is playing this, it's just a completely different strategy. And I was like, I didn't know yeah. these, this was capable of happening because the cards are so streamlined. And so I, after the duel, I was like, can we jam, like, three or four more? Like, I, I just, like, I'm not getting testing against people who know what they're doing. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, and when you encounter people like that, it's like, I, I have no idea how to get to that level. I feel like I was close to it with, uh, with Rescue Ace, but, like, I haven't felt that way about anything since. I think a lot of it is like expanding your texting circle. Like, like, yeah. I, I, I was really locked into like bad testing circles or people yeah. that like would play like they would one trick decks, and like you don't want to test against that person, right? Mm -hmm. Like, especially if it's not even a meta deck. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I would find myself those are my friends, right? And I would just play with those people. But like, if you want to get better, you gotta you gotta admit like, okay, this person they understand it maybe better than my best friend does. And although I like playing against my best friend, I gotta learn from people that just understand the game better. Mm -hmm. And it's harder to find those people. It's harder to just like, you know, 
jam games with those people unless you just randomly run into them online. It's really frustrating to be like to be good at the game. You have to be able to find people who are playing every meta deck to a high level. And like usually mm -hmm. people specialize pretty early. Um, and so like you just have to find people who are willing to pick up every single deck and like hone their skills on it and then just throw away that skill honing. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. You just <laughs> have to find other competitive people. I'm I'm having that problem for sure. I mean, I know you see me hopping in every single one of the testing discords I've created and being like, is anyone living here? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but you mentioned it. Like, you got to be good at everything, right? You got to yeah. be a jack of all trades. And like me, I'm like, I always find one or two decks in the format. Like, I'm just not fucking reading that. Like, someone's mm -hmm. going to always have to tell me what it does until until it it's no longer good. Someone's always going to have to explain to me what this deck does. And I... Uh, to be better, you you can't say that. Mm. <laughs> and a lot of people just aren't willing to accept that. I'm one of those people at the moment, at least. But mm. find me in a format where I like everything about it, and I'll, I'll crush it. I'll crush it. Uh, Got to be Edison, right? Absolutely, bro. I, I feel like I'm pretty up to, up to date on it, right? I, mm -hmm. I like that that one, like you said, uh, another thing that you mentioned uh, briefly was, like, they got to be willing to let go of that information, too, because it doesn't last. Like, mm -hmm. give it another, like, four months or something, and... Maybe voiceless voice just isn't even playable anymore, right? Something else mm -hmm. replaces it completely. I mean, it, it, as as an example, like we had like Rescue eight. that week and a half of a uh, raid raptor, where like Jesse Cotton was like raid raptor is like the third best deck. It's like on all these lists, and then like no one plays it. <laughs> it just yeah. didn't do well. Yeah. All right, bro. I gotta I gotta hit this go yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. You do what you gotta do. I'm, I'm not gonna do it if I keep chapping like yeah, yeah. you. So get back to work. <laughs> all right, buddy. I'll yeah, thanks, buddy. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Bye. See ya. What a nice young man. Let's do memes. Love the deck building this episode. Yep, that's, yeah, that's uh, starring the king, the king! Starring, I also fixed prog format. <laughs> True. Uh, I don't care about this bait tweet you made, CJ. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Ho ho ho! <laughs> the band ticket. I knew it was the band ticket's fault. Whenever they did anything that Duke thought wrong, he would say, That would never suit his grace. <laughs> that would never suit his grace. Gauge throwing.mp4. The search for the saddest punt in the world. <laughs> Not a meme, but a couple of weeks ago you talked about making eggs. It inspired me to learn how to use and get comfortable with the stove and oven. Now I can use them no problem. Yeah, no problem. Eggs are good. Gage, I am speaking directly into your mind. Consider playing this polite little reptile to revive Photon Thrasher and access level 8 Synchro Monsters. It's really cool how we need to just keep doing this. I love how we just need to keep doing this. My favorite part, though, my favorite part, right, is that we just need to keep doing this, man, over and over, that just over and over. It's awesome. It's just awesome, man. It's just... Simo playing around Gage's back row. Gage playing around Simo's back row. Gage, don't pull two red wyvern. Don't remind MBT of this duel. I'm going to shit. Remember me, Joseph. Yep, the classic. Uh, pretend I put more effort into this. I only thought of the joke and got fed up with the image editor on my phone. The world was going down the tubes. They needed a scapegoat. They found Wayne. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, didn't know you were in the set. This Goyo predator looking a little weird, but I can't put my finger on it. The predator baby. This would go crazy in Farfa's chat. Prog episode 628 looks cool. Gage's deck looks wacky. I'm bringing this to a regional this weekend. Don't fall for it. Wait, what the fuck? My LGS literally has this set in stock. High speed riders. The king! <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a bet. <laughs> I'm going to say the word. Gage versus the tunnel. Run into the tunnel. The classic. The king! The king! I can't believe this. This is so good. Is this... <laughs> Who is this me? Is this me hawking the King of the Feralimps Furby gold chain from Uncut Gems? 
It's the uncut Grimjack. This is unreal. They don't know I plan to ban Dante. Of course we know. It's the most obvious ban ever. There was a meme about it last week. Simo after banning Dante, Elder Entity Norden. I'm going to blow myself up. Yep, there it is. I would like to attack Simo for a game. <laughs> Heroic Challenger, Thousand Blades. Kip! You can't say that. King Syndrome. Instead of Brain, there is King of Pharaoh Limps. My butt is so noisy. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye. This kid is going places. Not college, but places. Clown to clown communication. Yep, that's a good one. You are not a clown. You are the entire service. We are literally playing the same deck. Oh, Sonic. You will never escape the ice chamber. That's not what you think, Dr. Eggman. I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> Why would Simo do this? Die, you commie fucker. Don't kill my dad. <laughs> If you want 5% yep. off any singles God. or sealed product, click the affiliate seam. We haven't gotten a good 5% recently. First time? Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, Synchro Cracker and all that, but did you know Cerveza Crystal Star Wars campaign was one of five grand prize winners at the 2004 Cannes Lions, only to be sued by Lucasfilm a mere month later because the award show raised its profile outside of Chile. I did not know that. Perform Age Trapeze Magician. Who cares? They both won't read this. Not a meme, just hope you and everyone have a good day. Thank you. Yup, that, <laughs> that's the that's the episode, baby. Uh, Gage saying he'll win the entirety of game one felt like this. Nah, I'd win. Spoiler alert, he doesn't win. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't get Gamma Trish Tear Top 3 E Telly, and I currently have 11 Redoer tokens. I'm going to add the deck to the collection. Another rank mirror.